No, I appreciate hey, it. Hey, how Thank are you? Hi. You the uh, town manager? Can, is that on? Is what? Like, that, is that recording me? Oh, yeah. I don't want to be recorded. You don't want to be recorded? No. I'm sorry. No, to I don't know who you are. I'm sorry to hear that. Who are you? Um, I don't really feel like giving my name or anything. I'm just. Well, then around. you have don't, to leave my office. It's a public my office. It's a public office, ma'am. Judy! I don't want you in here. This is oh, our office, anyways. Office. It's a public office. It is open I'm to I'm trying the public. to get ready for a select board meeting, Go ahead. and I we don't need you, you in we here. Over here. You Michael, us over. I don't know who these people are. But I appreciate your help. Once we're done with our pictures, we'll just be right on out of here. Or... So now you can shake your head, but we have so, every right to be here. But you cannot and record you... us without our permission. I'm sorry. You I can't didn't... record us without our permission. Is, oh, is that a law? He's like a. Well, well there's no one else in the in the. And I heard there was a disturbance, so the first thing a I do... Yeah, you are, you're disturbing us. Right. So yeah, you true. are disturbing I call us. the police, absolutely. You are if I hear that this is a disturbance, that's the first thing we yeah, should Well, do. you should right? find that's... out if, it, if there is a disturbance before you go and initially call the police and put my safety at jeopardy because the cops are going to roll in here with attitudes because of the reason... Oh, you didn't call them or whoever called them. Oh, Going to town hall, please, get an education well, today, well, people. She, she, she's, we're explaining to her. I'm going to tell you I'm going to get a copy of that. You're going to continue to shake your head no. Then I'm going to go to your town clerk's office. I'm going to do a records request for it. And I'm going to give them a cease and desist to tell them that you can't destruct that video or photographic evidence. And then they're going to tell you, you. All right, people. So here we go. This is the start of this video. This is where it starts to get crazy because this cop came barreling in here. Like I said in the video, over a false call, put our freedoms, me and Josh's freedoms, at risk, you know, and our lives, because, you know, like I said, you'll see in the video when I, when I say the cop, you know, once I put you in a cage, what kind of life do you got? None. So, put it to him straight like that. So, let's keep going with this. It's unauthorized access. Sides, I'm telling you, here's what, all right, here's what we're going to do. You're going to step out here, or you're both going to county jail. You are in her private office. There is sensitive information. If you fail to heed the warning from my town Under administrator. So, this is what we're going to do. You're more than I'm welcome not gonna, you're not to gonna come. Tell me what I'm going to do. I am going to tell you no, exactly not. how I'm this gonna, is going to no, go. You're not. This is exactly listen, how you're going to go. You have you no are, because he's got a badge on it. Let him know that, okay? Uh, tell no, him to calm down. Like De-escalate, Sarge. De-escalate. So we'll be on YouTube later today, which yeah. is perfectly fine. Oh, yeah, on a um, huge channel. Yes, and, uh, a huge channel. Tomorrow, yeah. So, so this is my chair of the select board, so he'll be oh, in charge gonna, of that. So oh, you know what? He's oh, so, so he's going to he's gonna lick boot for you and get you out of it, huh? We so, see this. People, you see this, how this guy's got this all planned out before he even came? Because like I said before, the call that came in was our town administrator had called directly. I did she, not feel the call. And she, she was feeling threatened was, and there were two people in here being hostile. Which, which is another issue because you guys are going to so, respond accordingly. Yeah, so people, you're going to love this video. This video is going to show you everything. The craziness. Talk about some crazy officials here in the town of Warner, New Hampshire. Town Hall. Wait till you see this video, man. It, it, oh, this cop just like he went to arrest us, no questions asked. We had to leave the office under threat of arrest. But uh, he ended up coming out infamous in the end, on top. And you're gonna see that in this video. Something that's never been done in auditing history. Done with AFA and myself. First time, I believe, I haven't seen anything like that. Get thrown out of a, thrown out of a public area, threatened, threatened with arrest, shut down, close a meeting that was supposed to be going on, shut it down, the whole town hall I'm talking about. And then uh, you got, you just gotta see it, how it went down. You guys are gonna love this video. Like, share, and subscribe this to everybody because uh, this is a matter that needs to be addressed out here in Warner, Warner New Hampshire. Uh, one of the corporals that t told me that there's only three officers in this town, so 
that's probably why they came out like they did not to mention the lady that called them lied to them said that she was uh, in fear for her life and we were being disorderly you'll see in the video we had just walked in there was really nothing said but uh check this out like i said like share and subscribe this video you know share it we need to get this out there um, we need the people to address what's going on in this town with these police the way they treated us um, and it, it's, it's a small town you'll figure this all out watching it but you're gonna see everybody ganging up on I had a troll following me around I was cordial with him until he got he got like a thorn in my my back right sort of like a pebble on the shoe but it was crazy so check it out without further ado let's get into the video okay everybody I'm at the Warner Town Hall in I believe Vermont oh I'm sorry New Hampshire Warner Town Hall I'm here with AFA we're going in we're gonna give this town hall an audit see how they perform and treat the public I'm sorry? Can I help you? No, I appreciate Hi, it. Hi, how are you? Hi. You the uh, town manager? Can, is that on? Is what? I, that, is that recording me? Oh, yeah. I don't want to be recorded. You don't want to be recorded? No. I'm sorry. No, to hear that. I don't know who you are. I'm sorry to hear that. Who are you? Um, I don't really feel like giving you my name or anything. I'm just well, then around. Well, then you have no? to leave my office. Okay. There's a public office. office. There's a public office, ma'am. Judy! I got it. What is this all about? Uh, I was just taking pictures and then you started yelling. Yes, but this is. I wasn't yelling. I asked you to leave your office. And she just summoned Judy. Yet. I don't want you in here. This is oh, our office, office, anyways. It's a public office. It is open I'm to the public. I'm trying to get ready for a select board meeting, Go ahead. and we I don't need to you, you in we here. Over here. You Michael, us over. I don't know who these people are, but they're recording me. They're looking around my office. They don't want to give me their name. Nothing. And okay. they're telling me they're not leaving because my office is a public office. Okay. And I'm trying to get ready for the meeting at 10. But they don't want anything? No, no, we just wanted to finish taking our pictures, and then she, she got out of her desk, walked over to us, went to go put her hand on me until I told her not to, and then she said that the only way we can film inside this public office is if we identify ourselves by personal identifying information. I explained to her that we don't have to do that, uh, and then if she had just left us alone, we'd have taken our pictures and moved on. Does that pretty much summarize it? I, would, I agree. Yeah, pretty much summarizes it. So, I appreciate your help. Once we're done with our pictures, we'll just be right on out of here. Or, so, now you can shake your head, but we have so, every right to be here. But um, you cannot record you, us without our permission. I'm sorry? You I can't didn't. record us without our permission. Is, oh, is that a law? You can't record us without our permission. Okay. Do you, do you know what law that is? Right up top of my head, standing here, where you just I, I, in? I, no, can, I'm not gonna. I, I can help you. I can help anything, you with so it. I can help at you at this point. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not. I can help you with that I'm, law. I'm sorry. No, that law is no, non-existent. You cannot record it me. It is non-existent. So. It's non-existent. You have permission to record me. I don't need so. permission. Yes, you, you do. You know why? Because you there's no gentlemen, expectation. Gentlemen, of gentlemen, I'm not gonna get a confrontation with you. You came over here. Not a confrontation. How can you come to me and then tell me that it's illegal to find desk? Okay. So yes, I can come in here. 
No, you're coming in here t telling me you don't want a confrontation. Telling but you that I would do not want to be recorded. Okay. Then that's that you're in public. So there's no law protecting you. I'm not in. Well, okay. Hi, hi. Did you do that for me? Thank you. So please, please let us continue. Please. No, I will not. Yes, you will. You will not obstruct my ability to engage in my very First Amendment right. The building block to the United States Constitution. This town was built two years before the Revolutionary War. You should have a real solid handle on what someone's basic unalienable rights are. There is no expectation of privacy in public. I do not need consent to film you or to have you on film. You are not You are working in, in a public capacity. Right. This is an office where there are very sensitive materials that could then be left out. Then it should out. be marked unauthorized, unauthorized access. It shouldn't be made as a public office. The door is open. It's not marked or demarcated as unauthorized or restricted access. So it is public, sir. What's happening right now is you're getting an education. And normally when I educate people, I'm happy to do it. But I don't like to do someone else a favor while they're giving me trash. I'm not giving you okay. trash. You said so, you're barking orders. You're telling so, me I can't do something I'm allowed to do. I, I didn't come in here giving anyone anything attitude. I like that. So now you're just putting words in my mouth. You told me I'm not allowed to tell me. <coughs> I and said I just don't do know not want to be wish to be recorded. That's you told what me I said. You're wrong. You're wrong. You told me it was a law. I can, I can re rewind this and show you exactly what you said. You said you couldn't So you say things you don't know head. you're saying. Did you do that already? Yeah, I did. Right, thank and when he says, did you do that, he means, did you call the police? Right, exactly. Because he thinks that he's like a... Well, there's no one else in the, in the... And I heard there was a disturbance, so the first thing a I do... Yeah, you are. You're disturbing us. Right. That's true. So yeah, you true. are disturbing I call us. the police, absolutely. You are if I hear that there's a disturbance, that's the first thing we yeah, should do. Well, here, you should right? find that's out if, it, if there is a disturbance before you go and initially call the police and put my safety at jeopardy. Because the cops are going to roll in here with attitudes because of the reason, or oh, you didn't call them or whoever called them. Oh, you know? she just quick smile for her. Oh, her right. We're going to get that because okay, you so just well, made... let, it, let it make let it be okay. a surprise. Let it yeah, be a surprise. Okay. okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do Boy. is I'm going to tell you that I'm going to get a call. Go to town hall, please. Get an education hope, today, well, people. She, she's, she's, we're explaining it to her. I'm going to tell you I'm going to get a copy of that. You're going to continue to shake your head no. Then I'm going to go to your town clerk's office. I'm going to do a records request for it. And I'm going to give them a cease and desist to tell them that you can't destruct that video or photographic evidence. And then they're going to tell you, you that I get here? a copy of that. Why? Do you know why? Why you're in are public, you here? You're in a public capacity. Why are you here? The video. here? You've created a public record. Why are you here? So to, have you? It was to, yeah, but this time I don't work for the taxpayers. You do, and you're not doing a very good job at it. Listen to him. He knows what he's talking about. It's all, it's all education, you know. Do you guys want to come down to my office? Are you the town clerk? No, I'm only the... Don't say I'm, only. You seem I'm very the nice. Assessing, I'm the assessing clerk. Who is but the, you're more than welcome to come down to my office. I appreciate it. Who's the town manager? We have a town administrator, and not a town manager. Who would that be? We're in their office. Oh, perfect. Is there a way I can make an appointment with that person? Sure. We have to go to the other office. Okay. Well, the, the police are here, so I'll just I'll wait for them to come in. Is that the town administrator? No. Yeah, he's shaking his head. Oh. Yeah, no. No, it's not? No, it's oh, one okay. of our selectors. <clears throat> oh, yeah, absolutely. After you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. So, are you... So, you seem very nice. What's your name? My name's Elizabeth Lappy. Elizabeth, Are you nice guys to meet residents? You. Uh, Does no, it yeah. matter? Can I ask that? You can ask. You're, you're very, very nice. I know I don't live here or in okay. the area. Um, and I, I appreciate your professionalism. I wish I could say that they were just as professional. Excuse me, sir. Just but taking absolutely. things off guard. Thank you, know, you. We get a little nervous, that's all. Yeah, there's no need to get nervous. You know, we're not confrontational people. We're, we're very, very kind. It's. I think the issue yeah. is when... You know, there's one or two ways to do it. You can do it like you're doing it, very nice, and speaking to us, and you know, being professional. Or, like, I know she was over there, and she was talking to somebody else. So instead of going up to her and like, you know, people say, put the camera in your face, like putting the camera in her face, I stayed over here, and I focused my camera on this poster, and I started reading it. So that way I could get the pictures of this office without having to interact with her. And then she at first told me, that what I was doing was illegal. So I appreciate your professionalism. Elizabeth? Yeah. 
Please close the door of your office when you go downstairs. Well, I'm asking you to leave my office. office. Okay. Well, so, right now she's telling you to, to hop out. This is her doorway. This I, is I, not I, open to the public. <coughs> Sergeant, so I need to, to see a demarcation saying that it's unauthorized access. Sarge, can I'm you know telling you, here's, all right, here's what we're going to do. You're going to step out here, or you're both going to county jail. You are in her private office. There is sensitive information. If you fail to heed the warning from my town Under administrator... Yes, because you're, con you're considered they... disorderly conduct at this point. So I'll step so out under right right threat of arrest, but disorderly conduct is loud, violent, or tumultuous behavior. I'm, I'm not going to argue the law with you, well, okay? You I've should, been doing this job for 20 years. Right. Here's the deal. You, you gentlemen are allowed in the common areas. Here's the deal. I'm allowed Anywhere in the Anywhere through here, is, you are not... Sign. No, you Where's are not the sign? allowed there's to no enter sign. anyone's I'm office. I'm going to go into any place where there's no sign. If so, you enter an office, so let me I'm ask you something. You right are you related now, to her? You're Sounds getting good. arrested. Then I guess so what? You're, you're, you're guess willing to arrested. you're willing to yep. put that on there like yes, that? Absolutely. You're a sergeant. Absolutely. Officer. I'm a corporal. Two strikes. Corporal. So this is what we're going to do. You're more than welcome. You're not going to tell me what I'm going to do. I am going to tell you exactly how this is going to go. This is exactly how you're going to go. You have you no are, way, no, first Close of all, your mouth no, and let me finish. Don't tell me to close okay. my mouth. I don't have to. You can be right? in the common you're areas boss, you're not my daddy. of this. Do you oh, understand here we that? go. <laughs> I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. professional. As I was telling you, these, these, yeah, 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 these yeah. are the guys, these right? Guys. So, 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 how are we doing, folks? Okay. Thank you very much, Harry. That video you're taking will also like the counter what these people are doing. Yeah, well, I'm going to get a copy of that. Right. We're going to get... What's the matter with you guys? Really? You guys are going to come in here like this on us? We ain't doing Don't nothing wrong, sir. We're in here taking pictures. This is a public area. So. And so isn't that. So isn't that. So isn't that. And so ain't all these doors they're closing. And this guy comes in here hot-headed like this. Come on, man, huh? You're going to take my freedom like I said. This guy called the police. He had somebody call the police, right? Put my freedom in jeopardy and my safety from you guys. And he comes in here just like I said he was going to come in here. Barreling in here like, 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 a, like you know. Wanting to put us in jail or whatever, right? For to what? Any of you guys in your offices. You guys something, got something to prove to these people? With you, huh? Then they Who's doing it? You want to, you want to, you guys want litigation in court? Okay. You have no Does this guy idea. want his badge taken? His qualified immunity? He can't boss people around like that because he's got a badge on. Let him know that, okay? Tell him to calm down. De-escalate, Sarge. De-escalate. So we'll be on YouTube later today. Oh, yeah. On a huge channel. Yes, a huge channel. Yeah. So, so this is my chair of the select board, so he'll be oh, in charge gonna, of that. So oh, you know what? He's oh, gonna, so he's so he's gonna he's gonna lick boot for you and get you out of it, huh? We so, see this, people. You see this? How this guy is got this all planned out before he even came here? But um, but yeah, private offices where you guys conduct your business. I just want to know, Corporal, are you backing him up? Obviously, we'll just keep doing the work shop. Right, so are you backing him up? Are you backing him up? Yeah, he's my oh, he's he's actually actually not, Just want to make sure. What's your so, name? Right? Yeah, what's your oh, name and badge? All right, so I can have yeah, it. No Thank you. You're welcome. You're, you know, doing and just... So you guys are untouchable out here, huh? Oh, Own the town? Right, How many cops are in this town? Yeah, so let's do some records Corporal. requests. Corporal. Corporal. Corporal, how many cops are in this town? Here's the hothead. Here's the, here's the hothead right here. Exactly how he said he was going to come in here because of the phone call that was made. This guy's going to lose his qualified immunity. Okay, I hope you like the job, sir. Yeah. Well, you would just put it in writing and you can submit it to anybody. To which office would you like me to submit it to? Who normally handles that? I think each office handles What's your name and badge, bud? Okay, so can I do it with you then? Do you want to do one better? All right, yes. Give me a cut. Give you. My records request is specifically for Medicare or whatever. No, I'm going to give it to my lawyer. I'm going to give it to my lawyer for violation of my civil rights. My First Amendment. Yeah, you did. My First Amendment. You're kicking me out of offices, threat of arresting me. No, because you've got a hot head, okay? And you don't need to be a police officer. Okay. You know? Right? Yeah, sure. How many? Cops are in this town, buddy. Thank huh? Three of us. Three of us. I yep. figured that, right? Two. And you and you run the whole town, right? You you're gonna you're, you're gonna be number zero. You have no idea who you just did. Right? You guys are you guys are nuts, man. You really think you can do this to people, huh? The public. You got a you got a supervisor huh? with bars over at the PD. Yeah. We have a chief, lieutenant captain. Is he in now? No. <laughs> no. So he's the highest law enforcement officer on shift right now. Yeah, that'd be correct. Unhinged, unhinged, and, and, and so, everybody in this town is is, is you, at jeopardy. Do you understand? Unless you kiss his ass. Do you understand that if an area is not demarcated, then it can't be relegated a limited public forum? He don't know that. 
Come on, I'm Look at he's laughing at you. Wait, he already uh, knows. This right here is a public area. I haven't I'm spoken good. to him so yet. You so, guys, you, him so, so you guys, so you guys know. I'm giving him the benefit well, of the doubt that I don't know. Good what luck he with knows him. That he doesn't know. So limited public or non-public form. Like for example, Call me old-fashioned. Sure it's like your hat. Access, right? Thank you. <laughs> Some place I can't go. So what do you guys That's how you relegate today. a public forum that's traditional to a non-public, a limited public forum. We're just doing a story. A story. We're just doing a story. Now, We're just doing a story. now the story's on yeah. him, and, and especially that's the coming down there. Yeah. Okay, that yeah. 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 Come into the public No, the other guy. Oh, the select ball member and that guy. They're, they're, they're buddy buddy, so he thinks he's on set, right? But but we'll we'll take it a step forward. You know what I mean? We'll we'll go about these 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 little jerks heads. I don't answer questions like that. I'm not from around here, that's all I can say. But these guys here, they're gonna learn a lesson. Okay. Threaten to take my freedom. Over a camera? Come on, man, huh? This guy's a real idiot downstairs, and that's that. You know? That's that. He's gonna, he's gonna find out. This small town with three cops in it is gonna be two cops. He's gonna, he's gonna lose his qualified immunity, right? And once he loses his qualified immunity, I'm gonna sue the hell out of him, and I'm gonna let him keep everything. But no, it's not, not to do with money, okay? What's that? Why are you threatening a lawsuit? Um, it's not a threat. It's a promise. Okay? He just violated my civil rights. Okay? Under, th under threat of arrest, maybe get out of a public office because he knows the girl in the public office and this is such a tight-knit town. Okay? You guys all, you guys all protect each other. They're protecting one It's a public forum. It's prior restraint. And I need that lady's name in there, too. And, and, and whoever so was taking the picture person, over here, because once somebody's in their in their capacity for working for the public, and they take out their personal phone and they stop filming or take a picture, they now created a public record. Now, what happens to somebody when they rip up a public record and they and they get caught? It's a felony, right? So she better not delete anything out of her phone. You see, this, this is why we're here to educate. We're not here to bother nobody. We're not here to cause trouble. Just to film. Whoever called the police caused the trouble no, by getting the first. cops here. We would have been in and out, right? Took our pictures and gone. But no, they, they want heroes like this guy. This guy's not bad. The guy downstairs, he's, he's off He's, he's off the hinge, mm -hmm. okay? I go around We're going to go out to him, now. period. Thank because he's, he's such a hard guy. He ain't hard. See, I come from a hard city, okay? Right? A hard life. You guys don't hard. know what hard is out here. Trust me. But I can show you my entire sleeve. It's all Revolutionary War. Pre-Civil War, this town was incorporated in 1774. It also has some history. So we took pictures of the library, we took pictures of the scenery coming in, and we came in here. We went into that office, and I did not go up to that lady, because people that do what you think we're doing, they'd put cameras in someone's face and they'd yell and scream at them, right? We noticed that she was talking to someone, so I did not enter the office. I stood at the very inside of the door. No, I didn't enter to where she was at her desk. I entered into the very beginning of the door, and I started taking pictures of the sign, the Birch Mountain sign. I started reading it. Until our peace was broken. I talked disorderly conduct. My peace was broken. I'll show you the roadmap, people. That what I was doing was illegal. Warner, New you Hampshire. Know it's not. No, they don't have to want us in that office. That's fine. They can restrict us from that office. Mm -hmm. But they have, but but they have, they have, to, to, they have to put a sign. They can't call people like yourself to come and violate us and throw us out of a, a, an open office. They point. have to demarcate it. Our behavior hasn't changed. Dude, your buddy came in here escalated. He still escalated. The only reason he's not yelling down there is because he's it's talking with his best friends. You know what I mean? Really, you, guys are, really you guys are all like that. Tuesday morning right now. And it still can be that way, correct? We, we're, we've not we're, changed. Okay. What did I... Have you did? Really? No so kidding. It's like, office, come on, man. And she said, oh, I don't like you. Like you're saying, if like we came boss, in here yelling really? and screaming, sticking mm -hmm. our cameras in story, people's right? faces, we didn't. Mm -hmm. Literally, so we were in that office for I didn't observe what happened 12 seconds, we and the lady started barking, yeah. I want you out of the office. Why are you filming me? Why? That's part of our job. Well, you can see listen, how it could be listen. intimidating. Well, okay, it's intimidating. Okay, so, fe like so if feelings... You know me and I walked into your place of work and I saw with a camera... Hey, if it was private, you wouldn't be able to, right? This is open to the public. This, these, these people work for the public. They, they work for the public. They work in the public sector. If they don't want to be filmed, 
go work at a private sector. Period. Because this is going on all over the all over the country right now, and it's going to get more so and more so and more so. So we're trying to educate people before. What are you trying to educate the general public about? What rights? Their rights, exactly, exactly. Yeah, the First Amendment, being one of them. Uh, freedom of press, you know that, right? Yes. Uh, freedom of religion, freedom of speech, right? Freedom to redress the government, freedom to to, to peacefully assemble. Absolutely. Absolutely. What am I supposed to? How am I supposed to teach a public? Go go to a private place or go outside? You know what I mean? I come to the. I come. To, know what else is this teaching? You know what else is this teaching the people? Huh? That the the public officials that we we assign or work for the public. Most of them are ignorant to the public, period. They got it easy, you know what I mean? They got it easy. It's like putting their socks on every day to get paid. Buy the taxpayers' money. Buy the taxpayers' money. And then they pay their taxes off the money that they get from the taxpayers. You got what I'm saying? So in reality, they make nothing. So if you want to take a position like that and be held to a higher standard, don't treat the public like that. Learn. That's a general. Hold on. Let me see. Is there any cameras up in this place? Is there a camera in your office? No, is there a camera anywhere in this building? No. Okay, because then I would say you're under a camera every day, right? But you're not. Just to take pictures of the offices and the building and then to leave. That's the agenda. Don't you? Is your ultimate agenda to like get somebody on video doing something that they shouldn't be doing? To get a rise out of someone and put it on your video and then make and then get a thousand likes or absolutely not. Listen, I can tell you one thing. My channel is way too large to need a reaction from somebody. I got a quarter of a million followers. Okay. I don't need to get you or anybody else to flip out to make my video a video. People choose to follow me because they enjoy my commentary. They enjoy what I like to see through my lens. Yep. Bottom line is that you can't tell somebody if you're sitting in that desk with that young lady and. This gentleman comes in, seems like a nice gentleman. He walks in, he says, hello, Corporal, I'd like to uh, fill out some paperwork today. You invite him in. Sit down, please sit at the table, do whatever you need. And then I come in, well, good morning, Corporal. You say, sir, with the camera, I'm gonna need you to step out. And then it's a public forum. You've allowed him in, but I'm not allowed in simply because I have a camera. Or we'll say simply because I have a cross, or simply because of my sexual orientation, what have you. You can't protect one class over another. That's what I'm explaining to you. That is a traditional public forum, unless, Corporal, it's demarcated as limited public, where it says, open to appointment only, open by invitation only. And then you're able to say, I choose to let this kind gentleman in. I choose not to let you in because you have Shouldn't sensitive you have documentation. Should we hunting? I'm not a hunter. Oh, you're yeah, not? <laughs> they did it. To answer your question, there's better things I could be doing right now. Sergeant. Maybe yeah. I should be hunting. Well, I had a conversation with you. I had a very nice conversation with this corporal leader. Yep. And I think things got started off. I don't even want to talk very about much him. so he, like, you know, right? he, my, He's too tough. You know what I mean? Threatening my freedom. He's he's. Well, you elevated yourself towards me when I was trying to give you the instruction. No, you can't you know, and, I, and I told you so, that I, that I don't, we don't, we don't know. He's not doing his job. Yep. I pay his, I pay his salary for him to come to tell me he's going to take me to jail unless I step out of a public office. That's not doing your job, sir. You know what I mean? He, he, he's, he's overstepping his boundaries is what he's doing. He's, 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 he's abusing his power with that badge and gun and everything on his side. You know, I'd like to see him act like that in, on the street to somebody. They lay him, they lay him out in a hoppy with his attitude. I don't want to listen to what he has to say. He's a piece of crap in my eyes. Okay. I've been doing this a lot. I'll let him know that too outside. Okay. Because I do things a specific way. Okay. I don't have an issue with you. What I was explaining to this corporal, and I think I explained it very professionally, is that you have a small town to protect, mm -hmm. right? You have the police. That is a private office, or so the argument would be. Okay? Yep, it is. Uh, so there needs and, to the, and let me tell you what. How, how do you say his name? Sure. On my side of things. Jay if it is a doorway and that can be locked, that is No locked. flow? You guess I'm name. talking to him. You can continue. Okay, that's but that's my name. I'm trying to I'm trying to pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce it's it. Adenolfo. Adenolfo. Yeah. Um, so if it's a, a, a doorway to yeah, an name. office where someone conducts a business that can be locked, then that is where your abilities have to stop. <clears throat> you can be anywhere in a common area. I have no problem with that. That's what I've been doing is explaining to each one of our employees down here that 
yes, you are allowed to be here. You are allowed to be in all the common areas. You are allowed to ask. You're wrong. You're wrong. Um, well, but if it's a, it, it, if it's it's a, crazy if because a lock secured office what he with thinks right, is wrong, right? So. Do, with that, with that, with that thought in his mind, right? So let's 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 reverse, re, let's reverse it, right? So say, if he thought that he could walk down a street and be safe, right, in my town, right? Yeah. And everybody hated him. He didn't know that, but he thought he was good, right? And he walked down the street, and and, and they did whatever they did to him. That that's where he's wrong. He's absolutely wrong. Just because there's a lock on the door. Okay. Doesn't mean they can lock the door. Like he was just explaining to you, you can't pick and choose right, right. who can come in the office, especially if it's an open forum. Yeah. Even if it's a, like a public open forum, yeah. restricted. Like he said, it has to be like by appointment only or, or whatever on the well, door. There's, there's so maybe, so maybe when we do a revisit here, we'll come back and there'll be them, them, them yeah. things will be on the doors because it won't, maybe. it won't do him no good because he's, he's already, he's already blowing the gasket on this whole situation, coming in here the way he did. Remember, he threatened us. And the threat of arrest is the only reason we left that office. If he didn't threaten us, well, he did. My camera, I can show you if you want. <laughs> you know? You need education, my friend. I have a cross on. This fine gentleman can come in to sit down and fill out his paperwork. That's okay. Corporal's got some work to do here today. Come on in, check out the calendar. You, sir, you can't come in because you have a cross. You, sir, you can't come in because you have a camera. You're protecting one class over another. If it said, you know what a great way to keep it up to their discretion? By appointment only. By invitation only. Sign right in the door. Because at that point, they can say, well, um, Sergeant Adenolfo, uh, unfortunately, you didn't make an appointment today, and we, we don't want the cameras in here, so why don't you give us a call, and we'll let you know when is a good time and the appropriate manner for you to enter <coughs> this office. Right now, that is still a public office until they demarcate it. Okay, so that that's something you'll have to take up with town's council, town's attorney. You can ask Well, he's your buddy, though. Why would we want to take anything up with anybody in this town, bro? Because our town... Because attorney, you just told us as a smartass when you was all... Escalating when you first showed up, you said, "This is the town manager. He's going to handle it." You know, no, no, you no. you made yourself that look so town. dumb, that right? Because you are you're a, you're a loose if, cannon, if you my take friend. That tone and insult me. I'm going to escort you yes. out. And I'll continue my conversation with this gentleman. Oh, see, because you're a tough guy, and, and it's I, not a tone. I, this not, is the way I'm I always talk. I'm French. I'm French. You are the tough guy of the neighborhood. So if you want me, I'll be outside, bro. You know what I mean? This guy's a real asshole, people. No, he's he's really pissing me off. You know what I mean? He thinks he's God. You okay, think you're God, dude. You ain't, hey, 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 oh, you ain't hey, hey, shit, man. That guy ain't nothing. No, he is. He's a piece of shit. You're right. He's not an asshole. He's a piece of shit. He's a piece of shit, okay? Hey, that guy's going to get hurt. That guy's going to get hurt, right? Somebody's going to end up hurting that guy really bad. He's going to come. I'm not making threats. I'm telling you, he's going to get hurt. Not by me. By, by, by his actions. Not by me. The way he acts. You see the way he's treating me? Huh? Yeah. Are you a cop? No, I'm not a good. Sorry. I'm it's a resident. Right. I'm here for business. <laughs> yeah. I came in to do some business today. That's this all. this all guy right. don't know who he's messing with, right? Okay. We're gonna take his badge. Like I said, once they lose their qualifying immunity, see police have qualified immunity that protect them from everything. They yeah. it protects them from killing somebody, okay? Yeah. But when when they when they willingly and knowingly yeah. violate somebody's civil rights being the First Amendment, okay? Yeah. Under threat of arrest, yeah. you qualified immunity out the window. He's going to shit when he sits in front of a, a federal judge, right? And they take his badge from him, and then I take all the rest and let him keep his wife and kids, okay? Yeah. It's not a threat. It's going to happen, okay? Because I don't tolerate that shit. I pay taxes. You pay taxes. Yeah. Everybody pays taxes. Yeah. For, what, for what? This asshole to come in yeah. and threaten people? He's saying, she's saying my demeanor? His demeanor shows right off the bat how ignorant that piece of shit is as a cop. And we don't need cops like that. He's dangerous. So at, at night, he could shoot and kill somebody and drive away. That's right. what kind of cop that is, okay? Right. He, thinks he's, he thinks he's a tough guy. He ain't shit. Right. In my world, he wouldn't be nothing. He'd be wiped. They'd wipe the streets with his face. You know what I mean? Yeah. He is nothing, yeah. okay? Yeah. But with that badge and gun, and he wants to treat the public like this, yeah. it's not going to fly. It's okay. definitely not going to fly, okay? That guy okay. is a... a a downright asshole, people. Leave your comments. Matter of fact, I'm going to go live because, you know, this guy might arrest me because of my speech, my freedom of speech, okay? Freedom of speech. You know what that is, right? The First Amendment. Yeah. 
So basically, all this is going off the First Amendment right now. Okay. 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 He said he's yeah. three cops in the town. So yeah. this town is locked down. It's what he says yeah. goes, and that's that. He's not the fucking law. He's a piece of crap, is what he is. You know what I mean? Okay. And people that think they're the law and better than other people yeah. with a badge. Yeah. So under the color of blue, there's a there's a case out there called 1983 case. Let's yeah. see if he let's see if he adds that onto his shit when he comes out here. Because he's a real he's a real loser. I I come out to smoke a cigarette. But my cigarettes are in the car, so I'm gonna go out here and make sure my buddy's all right. And his two cameras are better than one. You know. So people, you see this crap, right? I mean, we went in this building less than a minute and, and this shit took place. The cops were here in less than three minutes. This is why we do this. You know, millions of people see this shit, right? And they get, and, and they get, and they get hundreds of thousands of calls. That's what, that's what, that's the movement. That's the, the, the A plus movement is what they call it. But just replay what you're saying. I'm trying to educate people. Right? Well, I'm educating it. I'm, I'm trying to educate this guy, right? But okay. but he wants to, he wants to threaten me more. Okay. You know so what I mean? But He's going to remove me. He's going to remove me. Resources the right way. I would refer you to the town's attorney. I would. So, but if I you that case so no matter what Josh says to this cop, right, he don't care. So we're going to go after him, make it our living life to get this guy's badge because he's a dangerous son of a gun. They're locking their doors and then they're going to have to talk to the town's attorney. So they're going to shut down the whole town. And what they need to they're putting you in a, in a, and listen, they're putting you in a bad light. No, he's not. And, no, and the, he's the, putting himself in a bad light. Listen, the, the reason they're making, putting you in a dangerous situation is because had I decide to stay in that office and you arrested me, it would be without question, the three of my cases are from New Hampshire, for the same thing, it would be without question a case that I'm winning. It wouldn't even be something where I'd have to take in front of it. Let me tell you how the other 12 went. I file my notice of intent. Immediately, the district attorney says, in the best interest of justice, we're unable to pursue these charges as there is no probable cause or reasonable articulable suspicion to believe to, that the burden has been met. And then I file a letter of intent with the, with the county, and then on a state level, I would file a suit against the police department and the police officers for the negligent supervision and an action of duty, and then I'd file a suit on the federal level for the violation of my civil rights for 1983 USC. And then I would, I would, I, they would settle very, very quickly, and yeah. then I would come back here. I think he just said, and by I that think time, he just used the same one I used. But, but in the meantime, okay, the I have yeah, to talk about okay. So you this is how we do it, right? We go off the law. And then the gap We go off the law on yeah. everything we do here, okay? So that guy is going off the law. He is not the law, okay? He can't write the laws like we're saying. So we've done this before. This this guy got over a quarter million subscribers. Okay, so <laughs> it's on. Like they said, they already knew. Oh, it's going on YouTube. Da, 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 da. So you know that 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 falls under the 1983 case too, under the color of blue. And also, thank God he don't know our names because if you said our names, then that would be another case, which is a case law right there that's been tried four times throughout the country. And you know. Would because it's New Hampshire store? here, War, Warner, it wouldn't be dismissed because it's Warner and there's only three cops. Okay. They, they go after the smaller ones even harder, okay, okay. because it's so much easier right other than a police station that's holding 270 cops like, like where I come from. Okay. You know what I mean? So it's, this is, he made it real easy. He's being cool with them. But. I will. Well, what I'll do is I'll make sure that there's nothing that has anyone's like social security numbers, any, any information that could be that. Let me check with each one. Perfect. And then what we'll do is I'll take you for a tour. As That'd long as wonderful. you want to be cordial, you can join him. Cordial? You're the one that wasn't cordial, Saj. Seriously, you want me to play back the video so, and show I, your actions? He he, and he, does, yeah. he has the right to speak to yeah. you. That's yeah. right, and I can I freedom of speech. Here on out, everybody's My name is Josh. 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 Keep a cool mind. Hey, he, I, I'm sorry. You, 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 you're cool. You know, this guy, I can't be cordial with him because he, he tried my life. He tried to take my freedom because he thinks he owns the goddamn town. Because Yes, he did. He Under threat of arrest, we had to get out of the state. He threatened, that, that's my life, right? Put my so if I take you and put you in a in a cage, that ain't taking that ain't taking your life. What life do you have in a cage? None, zero, zero. Well, like I said, with me and you, we're cool. We're cool. I can have cordial talk with you, but this asshole, I ain't talking to him. I don't care what he got to say because I'm going after his badge. He wants to threaten my life, violate my civil rights. 
and the threat of arrest. Hey, no, I, I know. You, you can do no, you I know exactly. Right. Well, well, that's what he thinks. He can do whatever he wants. No, really. He can't. So this is a tough job. Both of us have over twenty years of experience. Really? So, so you've been doing it for twenty years to people? No, I, I was up in the video for the sergeant. Okay, so tough environment. Treatment. Yeah, environment. you tell, talk about a tough environment. Come to Massachusetts, where there's 270 cops on the force. Okay, not three, not three. So it's going to be real easy to get. Yeah. Well, here there's only three, right? So it's going to be real easy for them to obtain him and his badge and get him out of here. But you know, you know, well, I was in Nashville. No, he went to like anybody else. Right? No, just, no. Just like going to a convenience store or whatever. So that's how you go in and, and do your job? No, huh? it's Threatening it's people to arrest them because they don't want to move from one spot to, to the other? Hard, huh? Do you know what that no, is? That's freedom of movement, right? Okay. You can't, you but can't. Just, just hear me out. We go just like everybody else. Off the main strip. We wake no, up, no, no, no. we no, want to off the main provide for our family, we want to do the best job we can, and then we want to have, you know, feel like we did a good job. Even even with my buddy explaining and everything to your sergeant, okay? He shake it off and he don't give a shit. Well, he's going to give a shit when he gets paperwork in the mail and he gets a call from a lawyer. Yes, he's he's going to care. We're not going backwards, going forwards, right? So no, I know. I'm just telling you. Right now, which is good. Hey, if he didn't come in here like this, everything would have been cordial. Every second, you know. You guys have a job. This is your full-time job. Whatever, that's, that's fine. I'm all about it. Well, are you guys on? What do you want? You guys have a show, right? Yep. Where's that show? Well, he knows. He knows. He already said it. He he. Your sergeant already said it, so he knows because he's got. Six hours, 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 Seriously, yeah. you know, you know yeah. especially with this guy right here. This guy's this guy's taking so many jobs from from officials, police okay. officers. You know, but, and that, but if that's your, if that's, that's your not, tent, not, you, not, not it's, only, it's only our intent when a cop comes in acting like him because we pay you, right? We you get paid off our taxes, right? Right? So why would you treat? So, so why would you? Treat, you're not protecting me. You're not protecting me when you come in and and, and your side and says. And you protect the public, right? That's your job. That's your job. That's what you chose job. to do, though. Yeah. That's it's what you chose job. to do. I didn't say it wasn't tough. Did, did my arguing that it was? It's not a tough job, right? My job's tough. Roofing's tough. I'm a roofer. I've been a roofer for 34 years. You, could you do it for 34 years? Could yeah, you do it for 30? Job, yeah, okay, so, you know what I mean? Every job, and I could fall off a roof and die. Yep. A lot quicker than you can get shot by, by a, a civilian. You know what I mean? This, 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 hey, wait. There's statistics out there, okay? Of, of how many cops shot people and then how many people shot cops. 2% people shot cops. 98% of cops killed people. So, we, you don't want to go there, right? We won't, we won't, we won't, we won't step into that, into that. Right, exactly, because... You know, I hear the same shit all the time. A cop, you're being a cop, it's dangerous. There's a lot of there's a lot of criminals out there. There's a lot of crazy people. But when you come into a place like this, wearing like he did, you know, demanding that we we get out of this office that's open to the public. We were called here, right? Huh? We were called here, and we were told that they're disorderly people. Disorderly. See, there you go. There you go. The the call came in as a wrong call, and like I said on my video, I don't have any. I don't have any. Sir, I said it on my video before you guys even showed up I says oh I says really I said you just called the cops I said you probably lied to him to get him here and and, and you know and now oh here we go here's the third cop hey can I get your name and badge number bud sure Kevin Ferrier Eight, uh, six five three Sutton Police. Really? Yeah, he's yeah. Okay. Thank you. Suffolk Police. Sutton. Sutton Police. Okay. Sergeant. Is he a sergeant also? I think. Oh, corporal. Two strikes. See, I, I watched. Okay, that, so that's another thing with the New Hampshire, the New Hampshire Police. You guys ain't corporals. Corporals in the army, right? Two strikes is Republicans. No, but that's in the army, right? Are you no, in the army? This guy. No, it right. can be in law enforcement. No, I understand that. That's that's there's only different rank structures. There's only for a few. There's only and for law enforcement. Right. There's only a few few police stations that actually have corporals. You know what I mean? Uh, no. Uh, where I was at last time, Burlington Police. Yeah, mo thing. mostly is okay. New Hampshire okay. corporals, but you won't really find that Corporal in, in Mass. Two strikes. So that's if that. you find that in Mass, it'll be like a a, a Mass State Police. It'll be a corporal. They'll call him corporal. You know what I mean? But. If 
to simplify two strengths oh, okay. as a corporal, three right. is a sergeant. Right, yeah. There's no, there's exactly. no, there's that's, no that's argument pretty, on that. Yeah, that's pretty much with it's the... Uh, clear cut as can be. Yeah, that's pretty much with wrong. the other one, too, saw, you know? I saw, I saw the stars, and I'm pretty good. Yeah, Same yeah, thing like with the regular shows. police. They got the stripes, oh, the two stripes, and then the three stripes, you know? Yep, it's all pretty much the same. So, um... I oh my God! The we got the sheriffs here too. Excuse me. Let me get um, by you. Unfortunately, they're not. They just basically said everybody right now. Damn, boys, gentlemen, how are you? Did you guys get called here for us? No. No? Okay. I was just making sure. Oh, you guys are the sheriffs, huh? Hey, so so you guys override the uh, this guy here? No. Mr. Warren, you guys, you guys ain't higher than him, no? No. Nope. Really? Who's higher than him? Nobody but the chief? No, he works for the town of Warner. He didn't answer his radio. We gave him a check on him. Oh, okay. So, oh, so you're also, oh, you're Bradford, huh? Yep. What's your name and badge, sir? Name and badge? Ed Shaughnessy. Ed Shaughnessy? Badge number? 851. Thank you, sir. Professional right there. Maybe you should have showed up for this call. He came in there blaring want to arrest us. You know, because they called him for disorderly, which there was no disorderly at all. He didn't even he didn't even check with us. He just came in there. So, you know, I don't I don't even want to talk to him. You know, if if, if you want to tell him I said this, I tell him the guy with the other no, camera. To check on him and tell him I think he's okay, a real so. asshole. Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to dedicate my life to getting his badge because right. of the way he came in on me. And, and I got it. And I got him, too, because under threat of arrest, you know, he violated my civil rights and tried and, and, and actually threatened to take my life, you know put it in a cage. I appreciate you, sir. So this guy's a real piece of crap, people. We'll go back in here, AFA. We still got to do the FOIA request on them phones. So that's what we'll do. So this is all our informational board, directions to the various offices. Do can, we get a, can I get a piece of paper? Um, is there any office right now that's open that where I can yeah, get a piece gonna, of paper? Yeah, they're going to do a records request. The lady that was downstairs in the assessor's office, I'll see, I'll check before she's you, getting a paper yeah, for us. Guys, to okay, I'll see if there's a... Uh, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Badge. Badge. This, this, this says, yeah. this says, yeah. Yeah. all the information my, my, my boy needs for you. Okay, great. Okay, yeah. You should you should think before you, you come in. Upton, like Upton Hatfield represents the town, so... Yeah, well, you know, it, it ain't going to be... It ain't going to be decided by your town. It's going to be decided by somebody outside your town. Right? So guess what? Your, 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 little, your little security blanket ain't going to be there when it comes to the town. The way that he wants, but yeah, that's fine. Legally, he's not wrong. As far as wrong. what's out wrong, you need to find right. my life. And well, you need, Joe, the other thing is, down. you need to willfully violate my rights, right? And if you your did. argument is, well, you know, like, this is what they told us, this is my education, yep. then... Your qualified immunity is it can't be pierced, right? Because you have to go and say, you know what? I know that they can be in there, and I'm going to make sure I kick them out anyways. I'll threaten them with arrest, whatever. You came in and you said you can't. This is what I've been told. So the question on that front is, well, now less it's a, a town issue where you're personally liable. Now it's more a federal issue and the supervision right. of the town. Because like I said before, the call that came in was our town administrator had called directly. I did she, not field the call. And she lied. She was feeling which threatened, was, and there were two people in here being hostile. Which is, which is another issue, issue, because you guys are going to so, respond accordingly. And initially, and again, my purpose was, all I wanted you to do was just vacate her office, so we could have a conversation. Well, I, and you I made sure some, we so, did, on the threat of arrest. Which you can't do. Which, which you can't do. No, it's not a personal not area. Person. You're wrong, dude. Well, you can't dub it a personal area. This guy's unbelievable. Wait until he sees a job. I hope you say that to the judge. This guy's a real jerk, huh, people? Look at this. He, he makes himself look like an idiot. The longer and longer this video plays, he's still trying to, you know, compensate on why he came in here barreling down. False? How about you arrest a person that made the call for false, falsely making the call? That's our next step we're going to work on. All these people that call the police and say, you know, they're disorderly and this and that. Okay, videos don't lie, right? So that'll be the next thing. For the people that call the police on, on false calls, they should be charged, okay? But I know nobody's going to be charged here. You guys are all, all, you know, like one little family here, you know? One happy Wait, family. I, you, I wouldn't make big statements like that. You, you don't know that. I do know that. I know, I mean, no, I'm not saying nothing about you. I'm saying about these people that work here, okay. this cop right here, you know, his, his, his best friend. 
the town administrator. Come on, man, it's all on film, guy. Come on, you don't act like that. If I, I just met you, that's like me saying, you know, if somebody comes, hey, this is my good buddy right here, you know what I mean? False, you know what I mean? I'm lying. Just So he's lying about saying that his minister, the administrator is his buddy? Hell no. And and I don't know if he was here when he said all that stuff, but, you know, you don't understand what I'm saying and where I'm coming from. Okay. Guys like this, we don't need them. He's a bad police officer. I would not, I would not want to meet him in a side road around here at night, you know? He'd violate your rights right to the end. Right to the end. That's why you always have a camera, you know? That's why I gotta, it's so bad. Police are so bad, right? And, and especially little towns like this, like this little jerk down there, thinks he owns everybody. Police, right? As huh? he even said, he's his friends and- his Oh, so, ain't, so don't I, so right? don't I. That, right, so, right? So, so you can't say I hate the police, we need no, this guy, you know? If I'm walking down the street getting, right? getting beat up or, or stabbed, right? And this guy's driving by, I don't want him to just keep he's driving by. To I need him to stop. Exactly. Rights, right? and that you can, no, he's, that's what he's doing. He's protecting everybody's rights. Right, to the best well, he, he's doing awesome. This guy's freaking good, man. He should he should have the three stripes, and that <laughs> idiot down there should have the two stripes. Because this guy's this guy like he keeps his head cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And it's and it's all right for me to get mad because I'm the public. I'm I'm, I'm pissed. I pay this guy's taxes, and he threatened to arrest me and take my 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 freedom away from me over this lady in this office. You know what I mean? Or whoever made the call said that we were being disorderly, and and and, and you yeah. know they felt threatened. You know. Yeah. Hey, it's only a feeling, right? It's it's like suspicion, well, well, sir, it. right? I mean, that, so I don't say think it's a false call. It's how that. No, it is. It is that time. No, so. that's that's definitely a false call because if she can't prove that she was threatened, see, it's just a feeling. You can't call the cops on a feeling. So so if you're laying in bed, right, and all of a sudden this feeling comes over you, right, that somebody wants to kill you. Oh, my buddy, man, I I I, I had a short dream and now I, I'm feeling that he wants to kill me. Yeah. You call the cops and tell them that they'll tell you to beat it. You know what I mean? The cops don't work off of feelings. They enforce laws, not feelings. They're not feelings police. Okay. If they're feelings police, we can pay for some feelings police, and not give them a and not give them a gun and a taser and, and the authority. Well, I, I think and, it's separate if you're talking about somebody having a dream in their bedroom versus no. Uh, it's 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 it's, work, it's, it's the same. It's the same exact camera. thing, just it's a, a different, different right? just just putting a different light. You know what I mean? For people to see. You say she felt threatened. Well. Her feelings. I'm not saying her, that. I'm just, I'm, 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 I haven't talked to her. Right. I don't know. I'm just saying. Her feelings. Was her feelings. That way, right? I have, just like I feel right now. I yeah. feel that this guy should take his badge off and his gun yeah. and hang it up yeah. because he's a real jerk. Right? He's a dangerous officer. And, and believe me, hundreds of thousands of people are going to agree with that. Trust me on that. Well, they're going to find out. They're gonna find out. This little, this small little town's gonna to find out when it gets lit up by, you know, hundreds of thousands of people calling to redress their government, right? So, you know, and and, and because why? Because of this guy came in, guns are blowing, right? I think he was doing his job. Nah, he, no, he wasn't. He, if that's the way he does his job, he definitely doesn't need to be a police officer. No, no, he'll see. Yeah, the lady, there was only one, like, one nice person right here, and that was this lady in this, I believe it was this office. There's only, I appreciate your professionalism. Thank you very much. Is it Liz or Lynn? Right. She was the only professional in this whole building. Yeah. She's, she's wonderful. Listen, I've been in this town for a few years. I think everybody is, is really nice. Okay, you may be, you and him have a, <clears throat> got a, <clears throat> off to, a, you know, Tough start, <clears throat> but overall, look, we're all just trying to do the same yeah. thing. Here. I, I'm not looking to throw her under the bus. I just need it for the records request because I'm going to be asking for something. Else, that's all. Actually, can you break down the county name of the proper spelling? Do you want three select board members? Uh, no, I just need the gentleman that was upstairs okay. today. With his name was Alai or Lay, maybe. That's, I think that's what his name tag said. The gentleman that was there filming. Oh, that's one of our. That's one of our. Right. Select board member. Did, does, did he didn't know that? In the capacity of his job, he cannot take his personal phone out and take a, a video or a picture. He now makes that public records. This is this is the education we're trying to give people. Okay. Right? I, 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 a lot of people don't know that. A lot of officials okay. don't know that. You know. So, so and that that's what I'm putting back to you, which is I appreciate the education, yeah. right? But you got to think about the best way to get it across, right? I don't know if this is the best way or not to get that education out about 
First Amendment rights, as an example. All right, so that's your opinion. Everybody's entitled to their opinions. You know, I don't see any other way. <laughs> I do not see any other way. You know, we're exercising our First Amendment right, protected activity at that, protected the First Amendment. You know how many guys fought for that shit? And this, for this asshole to act like that towards the public? You don't see my kids, because you're probably one of them, like I said in the beginning. Well, I, you know, I don't know why you're sticking around fair, and shit. Well, I, I, I wasn't just don't here get it. Well, I wasn't in the room when that I just don't, I just don't get so. it, man. I don't need somebody over my shoulder, like, like well, protecting there. these if guys, everything I say. show me the, the video from before, that's fine. I wasn't here when that happened, so I, I don't have an opinion one way or another. Well, yeah. I'm telling you, so that, that should be it. Just like they, they made the call and said, oh, I, I, I disorderly. They told them, boom. Yeah. They rushed right over here. I'm telling you, you don't believe me? Oh, well. No, I'm not saying you know I don't believe you. It's your job to come over here, though. You understand? Absolutely. That? Absolutely. But it's not so, your job to act like this jerk did downstairs. You can protect certain... them all you want. You can say anything you want. I don't care what you say about them. Okay? And I, you know, I have... I can hey, this video and that video, especially that video down there, 500,000 people are going to see this. Okay, and within two days. Within two days. Okay? Great. And they're going to see... And I've already praised you on this, but I can't. I can't control my comments. They go, they're also going to tell me that you was being Listen, condescending and passive aggressive, okay, during this whole thing. Not my opinion, but yeah, I'm going to tell you the opinion of everybody else's. Right, right. It's right. Good. And right. then my comments that everybody's going to see, and then more people are going to see it, and they're going to share it, and they're going to. So it, it, you know, you're going to be YouTube famous, right? So to say, you know what I mean? No, you, well, yeah. Well, I don't know. You know, keep, keep being passive aggressive, and you know, I don't know. You know. Passive-aggressive, I'm just trying to keep the peace here. You're not That's trying to keep the peace because everything I say about this guy or anything that got to do with this guy or any oh, or this town, it, it's always, you, you, you're jumping right, or we got a job to do. Uh, well, I you know, know this. You don't so think this is my first rodeo? This ain't my first no, rodeo. No, it's not my first rodeo. It's not my first okay. rodeo either. And what? Thing, like, what you, you, dealt with, you dealt with auditors before? In Burlington, Vermont? For 20 years as a police officer? You don't think I've dealt with this stuff before? With this particular situation right here, auditors, auditing town hall. We didn't have... Yes or no? It's a yes or no question. It's a yes or no question. You know what I mean? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I'm going down. I'm going down. Why are you leaving? Why are you leaving? I'm about ready to make a point. There is no point. Wait, what's your point? What's your I point? Mean, that you, you asked me if I dealt with this situation. You, and, and it's a yes or no question. You don't want to say yes or no. I'm gone. I mean, with large protests, it would take up city lumber. Yeah, I need to do that too, bud. Look at this guy. Protection. Yeah, I'll I'll protection. Right in half of this yeah. so we can both, uh, Look at this guy's protection yeah, yeah. right here. <laughs> no matter what, Charles, these guys are all together tight net. You know what I mean? They're like a little gang. Like a little game. Hey, and this guy's the leader right here. How do you know that? You're making a blanket statement. How do you know that? It's not a blanket statement. You're an ass kisser. Period. I, 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 Here's for you. Just please. I'm done so talking with you, dude. I don't want to hear from you. You're going you're gonna to get on my bad side. Please don't get on my bad side like this guy's already on my bad side. But you're throwing out statements that have no validity to them. Yeah, okay. Liz, what's that call? And, and everything you say is making sense. Okay. For, the, for, the police side, for the police side. Right, right, right. Blue, blue line again. Blue line again. No? Like I said, just ignorance, ignorance is, is, is on, on the stairway. Um, since you're going on the call, yeah. where should I leave these with, the, their requests? These guys are unbelievable. Um, we don't need, need police like this. We don't need officials I in this place like this. I just need a date stamp, oh. and he can give it to me, or he you can give it to... Give it to Judy upstairs? Yeah. Oh, all right. Any any town official can take them. All right, so I'll give them to Judy so she can take stamp them. I would then, definitely uh, do. Leave it and I know you have to leave on the emergency, uh, yeah. emergency call. Thank you, sir. Um, Hold on. I would like, Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Let me just share it with you so you can pass it along to her. I know she's got an emergency. I'm just trying to deal with the call. Just want to make sure it's not an accident or something. Hey, you know where you'd be a good cop? Huh? Down in the cities. Because you got the, you got that you got that attitude of a city cop out here in the country. You know why? So because because you you you. So you're trying to antagonize him. We understand what you're doing. I'm hey, I'm talking to him. Mind your business, buddy. Okay. 
Yeah, just shut your face and mind your business, right. bro. Okay, I okay, I'm trying to well, tell this guy. I'm trying to educate this guy to, so so he don't end up like this again, okay? You need to be more cordial with the public, okay? It wasn't a call for a gun, okay? It was a disorderly. It was a, it was a false call to begin with, and you showed up. Guns are blazing. Not your guns, but in your mind, your mouth, and, and, and your hands ready to cuff somebody and throw them in jail for nothing. You know what I mean? Under threat of arrest. You can't do that, dude. And I'm going to make sure you stop doing it. He's already told me it's been 20 years or so you guys been on the force, okay? So you guys been running this shit town the way you guys want to run it for 20 years, unlawfully, unconstitutionally, and threats. You know, I just like to know how many threats, how many arrests you got, I, which I'll find out. I'll go down and for you request all that shit, and I'll find out all your information. Yeah, he, 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 he was, very, he was very open. He said that the call he got was not what he arrived to. And well, they, they, but but that's not the way time. he acted, right? He, threatened, right, he that, threatened that freedom, dude. That might be okay by you, but it's not okay by me. He gets paid off the tax pay. Look at he's laughing over here. It's funny, right, to you? Because well, you're a piece of crap, bro. That's it. You're a piece of crap in my mind. Thing. You'll never be nothing, nothing better than that. But something that comes out of my ass. What's the guy's name and everything? I, I this is this is this is a lady that took the video of us that works in the town admin office. So she is, her title is town administrator. Oh, yeah. that lady was the town administrator. She, yeah, she is the town administrator. Oh, I didn't know that. chair of the select board. Gotcha. Yeah. Good to go. And since there's no one else here, I'd like to offer it to you, um, just for the purpose of the records request. Mm -hmm. They took um, video footage, and Ron asked me to arbitrate it, but they took video footage of their personal home on their capacity. So that counts as a public record. So I'm just offering, for legal purposes, a verbal cease and desist for the destruction of that video or that photographic evidence because it's now part of a records request. So I have to, I have to offer I will, that. So what I will tell Harry is I will tell him to preserve the video and send to town council, which last they I can, knew was up to they, Hatfield. They can, they can uh, arbitrate it. I'm just, yeah. I'm, I'm required to let him know that's part of a records request and that it needs to be preserved. Yeah, I will. Uh, I'll tell him that, and no, uh, like I said, I'll tell him to make sure town council gets it. They can preserve it. However. Council. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is uh, we'll finish the, once he's done. We'll finish the tour. Um, I will get those date stamp, and I'm going to give you guys photocopies back so you have record for yourself that says this is what I turned in. Here's the date stamp Excellent. to prove that I turned it in. Excellent. So. Yeah, that's the that's the that's the that's the that's the We're still out. And does that medical call require our attention? I just told them that we were all set okay. for now. Yeah, try to yeah, try to just see if they can tell you what the medical call is, just in case it's something. I just got your email. That's one, huh? You got your email? Yeah. Okay. She doesn't believe so. That's fine. I just okay. did Okay, that's for. Uh, is that for the other one? That's photo and video. Yeah. Uh, Frenette and the select board, both people. That okay, so I can put both of them on here. Um, Did they say they're all? He said it was Catherine. Yeah, we don't need to oh, okay. that. Yeah, F R E N E T T. Which is emergency medical <coughs> center. Uh, I need to catch the location. Oh, uh, yeah. Our radios are busy. We got and County West, which is our side of the channel. County East, which is the other side of Merrimack County. Yeah, the fire channel. We scanned London State, so it's like well, listening to radio. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta be. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta be pretty attentive. So I gave him the right. radio, so I just write <clears throat> any cell phone or video yeah. footage, and then you can just CC good citizen record. Easier, is so. it there's a large emergency? Do you go on a certain channel then? It's, it's it's cross town, or state police. Or if there was, like yeah, if there was something major, we have designated channels that anyone coming in from around can go on, so we can have clear communication. So got it. <coughs> Where yeah. they can change it. As That's well. what I'm saying. Like, yeah, because like Sutton <coughs> is on New London's dispatch, completely different dispatch. They, so if they, they come here to help us, so we go there to help them. We usually switch. We for, we'll switch to New serious, London's dispatch, serious, yeah. and then let them know, hey, we're on your channel. Yeah, and, so I, and, I there, and like if they come, they do the like, same thing, like at county and on your channel to assist sure. Warner or sometimes Bradford, whatever. Oh, sometimes I'm just like, you can't teach Yeah, it's yeah. just uh, no. yeah. a lot going on, not a lot of us around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, we still have the open position too, right? Yeah, we still have one open position. Um, but 
All right, that, that sums it up for me. Man. Good? Yeah. Okay. Who's Ken? Uh, that's uh, I'll leave assessing it. Man. Man. Right. So I'm going to keep this. I'm going to hand off that to you. This is just the names if yep. I'm no provided. No. Okay. Um, all right, so all right. we'll conclude this um, in the meeting room. So this is where select board meetings come. Now he's a tour, now he's a tour guide. The guy's a joke. He needs a new job. I'm trying to explain this to these people, and they just want to keep on, uh, you know, dancing around it. Josh is doing what he's doing because you know that's that's who he is, and uh, you know, to always make him make him look. Look like there's nothing gonna go on, and then all of a sudden well, hits him like a ton, ton of bricks. You know. Us now, figure this out because the opportunity is here where yeah. it doesn't have to get. Like, well, again, right, so you. Their corporation counselors. So who are you in this town? I'm just a resident. <clears throat> oh, you're just. Town of you're just so hanging out. Here. This is this is no, the I best. This here. is the best you can get all day I, out of this for I excitement. Came, I came in here for town business. And you gentlemen obviously interrupted that. I you guys. So, oh, okay. You heard that, right? We, we interrupted that, not the pigs. We did. We interrupted it, not the pigs. Got that, people, right? From Darren over here? No, I'm all set. I'm good. I'm good. I'm all set. I'm all set listening to your bullshit, bud. I'm all set listening to your bullshit. Trying to educate you. You ain't educating nothing but your, 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 your tongue on how to, how to lie. Was that? How to lie. I learned from that. Trying to understand what your accomplishment, right? You got a First Amendment. Oh, he, is a, oh, he just right? said that we, he was in here. I asked him who he was. He said he's just a town resident. That yes, he, he was in here trying to do town business, but we interrupted him. Not the pigs. We did. So I, 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 I cease and desist of talking to this idiot, okay? This daring. So don't even waste your time, Josh. Serious. Yeah. Don't waste your time. Mm -hmm. Don't waste your time. Yeah. They stand together. We stand together. I told yeah. you don't waste your time. Don't waste your time yeah. with this idiot. Yeah. Ball licker. Boot, boot licker, I call him. Hey, listen. You know? You guys want to come in here ganging up on the guys with the cameras? Fuck both of you. And this guy in here. I had enough, man. I, 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 I had enough being cordial and, 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 being, and being cool. Freedom you know what I mean? Expression. You can flip the birds or whoever you want. That's you right. Can tell anyone exactly. you want to go pound sand or kick rocks and flip flops. It's a beautiful country. I can. These are the workers <laughs> hiding in their offices. They shut down the whole damn town hall. Ridiculous. Can't even imagine what Josh is doing in there. They're all a bunch of three, three little pigs in there. One of them is not even a pig. He's supposed to be some uh, town resident. But he just had to make, get into our business. And I, you know, he was trolling me the whole time. And then I just, I just, I couldn't take it no more, you know? You're full of shit. Just like the rest of the, the guys in here. You know, they all they all was on each other's side. It's all good. It's all good. That one sergeant, he's a real piece of crap. Don't need him on the force. You know, come in here, threaten to take our freedoms. For what? To show that he's king shit of the town? Yeah. Okay. He's king shit. All right. Go back in. Responded. Yeah. No, no, there's no signs on anything. There's, there's no signs. We went into the office. There's no signs on the office. Um, and then we, they were told us if we didn't leave the office, then we'd be, mm -hmm. we'd be placed under arrest. Just because I got too sick to be able to work. No, every office. They have not, well, they, they asked us to leave the town man, uh, administrator's office. Now every office is closed. Yeah. Lived under Sergeant Martin Berger. I was like, 
No, I want to live. I in love extra. Mm -hmm. This isn't nice. Okay, it is nice. Huh? All right, thank you. I mean, you can take a walk anytime, day mm -hmm. or night. Nobody right. bothers you. Mm -hmm. It's just a nice little town. Mm -hmm. And turn any bends I again. I could just stay a nice little town. So as I upload the video, yep. like so, when I stopped the last video to show them the video, it automatically uploaded to my OneDrive. So my my civil my civil my civil attorney, he looked at the video. He's like, "That just happened." I said, "Yeah." He goes, "Where are you?" And Warren, he goes, there's Warner. No, he goes, Warren, uh, Warner. There's no demarcations on the door." I said, "No," and he said, "So what?" I explained to him what happened. He's like, "Oh man, yeah. oh man." <laughs> That guy right there. He's like, he's, he goes, you know what he said? He goes, you ever He's going to learn, man. The hard way. He said, you ever hear like about a little the, kid does. the candy bar? He said, what's your favorite candy bar? I said, what? He yeah. said, it should be a hundred grand because that's easy how much you can get out of these guys. Her, the failings police. Good. There's a town meeting right now if you want to stay. Oh, we're just waiting to find out if it's been extended. Good citizen, that one would be you. Thank you. That one would be yours. That's your copy of the big timestamp. I appreciate it. I want to show, I just got the phone on because when I stopped to show you my video, like yep. the, the to show you that we weren't you know being disorderly or anything, they automatically upload to Microsoft um, OneDrive. Anyways, Jason Benzigan, he's my civil attorney, he's very top down in the country. Uh, he reviewed the video. And he contacted someone from the, the New Hampshire's Chief of Police Bureau or something like that. Chief of Police said, Association. Is that a thing? Okay. Yep. Um, contacted a, one of the chiefs, and he was on the same page. That is absolutely not demarcated as public office. And he's like, he's, he asked me what my favorite candy bar is. He said, I don't know. He said, it could be 100 grand. He said, that's how much it will cost these guys easy. And I'm not okay. one of those people to go well, shopping. again, that's them. something to take up with right. the town council. Again, we yeah. responded to the call we got. Our town administrator was in her office feeling threatened. Two individuals were in there. It, it is what it is. You're, and you're, we're you're refusing to leave. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can, I, can, I get, can I go out in my car and write, write up a new tag for you and put it on your shirt? Feelings, police? Learn something, bro. Do the law, I'm not not your attitude. Yet. Okay, you know the, uh, kick rocks, buddy. Board meeting is, is I, have no idea. I have no idea what they're doing. Kick rocks. It's, the damage is already I'm done. Take place downstairs. Yeah, meeting yeah. I, uh, All right. So I'm saying I'll this, wait to see. There's only one here right now, so I have no idea. If the guy's a piece of crap. All right. We'll we'll wait it out. We'll wait it out. He's like a kid, right, that sticks his hand in a candy jar, right, and gets all chocolate all over his fingers, and then the, and then the adult says, hey, you were in the candy jar, and he says, no, I wasn't. <laughs> you were in the candy jar. But he's, got a, but he's got chocolate all over his face and hands. He's like, he's in the cookie jar. No, it's just, he's crazy, man. You can't go around threatening people's freedom and shit because you got a badge. He's, yes. the, guy, the guy doesn't know how to do his job. Who are you guys? I'm just curious. I'm Kevin right. Schumacher. I'm one of the... Town residents. Nice to meet you here. We're just. Uh, two Are you journalists. with him? No. Because uh, he's I'm, been trolling me since I'm, the I'm beginning. A <coughs> and I came to town hall today with interest in getting pictures and photography. But the only thing we got the, was threatened to go to jail. And, uh, Are you from then, uh, No, I'm not. Oh, no, okay. Not. Yeah. And then uh, I was threatened with arrest, which uh, for I think what everyone can agree now including my attorney and, and at least one chief of police from the surrounding area, um, that what we did was no crime. So we were threatened with arrest to be jailed for a crime that had not taken place. So that's so who we are right now. I'm a town resident, just like you. Okay. My name's Kathy Schoolmaker. Hi. Nice to meet you. You're not going to tell me your name, I'm right? not going to tell you my name right now. Okay. I will later. All right. I'm just... I was here for town business. And we, and and we interrupted in, uh, it. And I'm trying to learn from these guys. No, no. I have an agenda. Tell her what you told me. You were here for town business and we interrupted it. Well, the open doors are locked, right? Right. Well, from not, well, I didn't lock well, them. Did I lock them? Did he lock them? To be honest. You're a bootlicker, bro. A pretty, pretty calm, cool, collective. We yeah. did not disrupt anything. This young lady made a false police report to 911. Yep. Which the sergeant has now agreed was a completely and totally inaccurate phone call. Okay. I, I wasn't here though. So, I don't, I don't so know. So she disrupted town business I, I and was disorderly. I wasn't here though. I, yeah. I Hold on, I'm just, I'm just filling so you I, in. I, you wanted to know what happened. You wanted to know the agenda. That's so. it. Yeah. That's the, the, the agenda it's is to it. not be violated by strangers. Yeah. To, to, just to be it's perfectly it. fair. Like I get up in the morning and so I go So did somebody from Warner ask you to come to town hall and do this? Excuse me? Did somebody from the town of Warner ask you to come down here and do this? Would, would they have needed to? 
I have I, no I idea. say yes. I say absolutely yes in what I've seen I'm in this whole ordeal. I'm just trying to find out why you guys just decided to come in and do this. I mean, that's... I just, it was just that's not arbitrary. Good. You didn't pick another town. You didn't... Why are you here? Because we want to be. Because yeah. we're in America. We don't have to check papers and seek permission to go someplace. Especially that one of those places being a public building. I have the right to get up in the morning... Right to walk out I'm of my saying you don't. to walk out of my beautiful house where my beautiful kids lay their head and walk anywhere I damn well please without and any person. I am not saying threatening me with arrest. I am just trying crime. to figure out why you picked Warner. Well, I guess I I guess if there was a dot on a map, right, and I was to throw a dot at it, I mean I must have blind dumb luck because the one place I decided to come to engage in my constitution protected activity. I was threatened with arrest for no crime that took place. So the next select board meeting can the next select board meeting me, can be is this guy nice enough to not sue us and to work with us or is he going to get us for like hundreds of thousands of dollars? That should be the concern of the select board meeting. I don't think that that's going to be the concern of the select board meeting. I think that's going to be a concern of the town attorney. Well, yeah, I mean, well, it, the town select board, though, they'll have to they'll have to delegate the funds, see where they want to pull it from. And that's if I'm that guy that wants to take the money from you. I might be willing to say, hey, uh, you guys were uneducated. You can only go off the education that you were given. You were given the wrong information. Now we all have a healthy understanding that you were wrong and I was right, and I'm willing to move forward from that. Okay. That could be the case, too. It could be. It's probably more likely that that's the case. I suspect, it, I suspect that the town is going to ignore this whole thing as hard as they can. Yes. No. Well, no. It, 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 that, that's what we're here for, right? Because cameras don't lie, and, and people, they get pissed off when they see stuff like this. And so so what, you're just, you what, 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 just, this? what just came out of your mouth is, you know, you, you, you absolutely... Know that the town is just going to take this, crumble it up, and throw it in the in the thing, right? Well, guess who 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 looks after the town? Why, why we'll we'll, we'll bring it to why them. To we'll bring it to the higher up. If this town, town thinks that they're secure they're because everybody's going to lie and work together and bullshit, so they can have their town the way they want it and, and not the way the people want it, it's it's not going to work for you. Wrong it's not going to work for you. It's not going to work for you. It's not going to work for you. It's going to work for we the people. In, in, in the state of New Hampshire, they have no clue do, of the Constitution, of any well, civil why, rights, or anything why, like that. So, so, so you're wasting your breath, Josh. You're no, wasting it, your breath. You know what? It can fall in Absolute wasting your breath. Be, right? yeah. In the state of New Hampshire, you, you don't, people, don't, don't, wait, no, people please, die. Down. People die for our. The VA has my hearing aids right now. So you need to slow down. You can't talk both at the same time. I'm talking to myself. I'm not trying to get anything. Okay? I'm not trying to get anything, anyways. I'm trying to give something. Okay, but I'm not going I don't to understand so, yeah. it unless I you slow so. okay. down and so speak the, one at a time. The town. I'm talking okay, to the camera. The I'm not talking to her. This issue. Okay. You see this Hampshire, tyranny here? I am able to give oh them a notice God. of intent. Okay. To say, this little These town thinks they get it wrapped up because everybody's, you know, kissing that. everybody's and ass. And this is what we're willing to bring to court on a state level and a federal level. At that point, they have six months. Okay. To ignore me. They can do that for six months. They can ignore me or they can sit down and mediate. If they choose to ignore me, at the end of that six months, I then am able to go into the, the Superior Court and file that suit. And at that point, they have to answer to it. And the interesting thing is, this is not something, ma'am, that would ever go to trial. They would settle with me in less than 90 days, the moment we walk into court. Because you don't fight a battle you can't win. Okay. That's silly. So the, the next conversation would be, what do you want? And then I could say something like, folks, and make sure this doesn't happen again. Or on the opposite side of the spectrum, I could say, I want $180,000. And you know what the town would say? No problem, we'll have it to you in six months. Because if they went to trial, just my attorney bills would be double that. At that point, it's only about saving themselves as much money as they could. And I feel like $185,000, my attorney already watched a video. He said 100K easy, in and out the door. I, I have feel a feeling like that's that was. just going to raise our taxes, but okay. Exactly. So the issue I'm, then. Becomes, it's our point, people. The issue we got becomes, these officials right? that think they can take that. from us like this so our civil rights and duties of right. America. Well, who told and when it costs the taxpayers so money. Me. Now, the information we're getting is that the town manager is the one that instructed these police officers that 
these areas aren't public. So it, it's at her direction that they violated our rights. May I ask you a question? Of course. Which town administrator was it? Was it Kathy Fernet or was yes. it Judy? Kathy. Kathy. Okay. If she told you that, and I'm not saying that she didn't. Yes, ma'am. Okay. It was because someone else told her that. Because excuses, Kathy has excuses. Only been here for six months, maybe? Yeah. Not long. That's fair. And I don't think that she has town administrator experience prior to this. But she works so for the town people. All her you hear this information crap. for probably Judy, who is the assistant town administrator. <laughs> And it's been here Judy forever. also came in and backed her. The, what, what all I'm trying to explain to you is, is that the conversation then goes from why did it happen to who allowed it to happen. Okay. Like, so, and yeah, I don't want your taxes to raise either. I'm all against the raising of people's taxes. I think they should be kept as minimal as possible, but it's not my fault that they, that they, would, that they would go higher. There you go. Or maybe if I'm nice... Okay. I don't, I don't go for a monetary game. So can I ask you a question? Sure. Again, so your point is trying to educate people on mm -hmm. a number of things, First Amendment, jobs, right? So do you have like bullet points? Do you, you have anything in writing to really summarize to say, hey, here's, we're doing this because we want, you know, we, we don't need that. We know, we are independent journalists. So we are not the mainstream and you are an idiot. Can I finish, Period. please? Period. Yeah. Thank you. Because okay. what you say is so, going to so one ear and out the other in my head. Because well, that guy's a real bootlicker so right there. Ask his son. Uh, he's part of the town. It's just a small town, and this is how what happens in a small town when you got corrupt corruption. Wants to rule every movement of the public. It's absolutely insane, people. Anybody from this town of Warner, New Hampshire, please contact me. My email is in my my channel description so please contact me and, and let me know your stories on this crooked ass corrupt town of Warner with all these little these little pawns over here that try and you know make sure it, it stays that way refusing to have this meeting but collect votes and then tell their community that they can beat it we don't we don't know if there's going to be meetings you can't so they're, they're waiting to see if we leave or not. That's what's happening right now. I don't know where they're And they might as well reschedule because we're not going anywhere. Look at Ask Kissa can go in there. How come Ask Kissa can go in there? Oh, that's what's been, up with that? That's that's, what, that's of everything we're talking about. about because you know why? It's a tight net town, right? And all these assholes you protect each, each other. They'll be back soon. You know? You should come now because if you're arresting me. Right, you better arrest his ass. No where's your buddy? Where's, where's, where's the sergeant? Where's the, where's the unhinged? Yep, let your sergeant know what's going on. Okay. Well, if you guys hold off, I'll call the sergeant and then we'll have a conversation. Uh, I, I've, I've held off, man. They just invited someone else. And yeah, off yeah, they, they can't do that shit. That, that's, that's more discrimination. Well, I wish we had, I wish we had somebody else here with us. I'm going to make a quick phone call, make sure that there's bail all set, and then I'm just going to come back and go right in. Excuse me. And, and, and I think that everyone would agree that I've been nothing but professional. Right. Same here. Nothing but kind. So, respect is a two way street, right? It, and, and have I not given you respect? And I've given you guys respect. Okay, and now I'm just so now it's not left up to who hasn't respected the other. Now it's one person who's going to stand on his rights and he's going to see if you're willing to violate them. So I got, he's gone into this public office. I'm going yep. to the next. Let me call and get my bail money straight away. You just, point, you just proved another point to the video of discrimination. I did? Yes, you did, by them letting you in that office like that. Thank you very much. You're you know, my, my thought about you is changing a little bit. Okay. You're still a bootlicker in my eyes, but, okay. you know, because of that move, awesome. See, you guys are that stupid yep. to pull that shit in front of the cameras. Maybe that's not. stupid, man. I maybe mean, do you, do you have... Maybe do you you're have, taking the bait. Hey, maybe he, we'll see when my buddy goes right in yeah, there and they we'll arrest see. him, right? We'll and then, and then, we'll and then, and then it's definitely we'll on. We'll see. We will see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. This is uh, supposedly, if you know this guy that lives in town, hit me yeah. up and let me know who, who he is. And he's a real bootlicker.
I'm going to go out and take a couple of drags off of cigarette people. And then, no, I'm not going to leave because then they'll probably lock the doors. They played that game on us before. This is the corruption of Warner Town Hall in Warner, New Hampshire. The, one of the littlest corrupt towns in New Hampshire. So we're going to we're going to throw a uh, needle into this this haystack. And watch us find it. So here we are outside again people. I mean sorry this is so long but these idiots they they close they they shut down the town meeting before it even started. The corruption in this town is Literally, we stumbled upon a web of a big web of corruption, people, here in Warner, New Hampshire. These guys are unbelievable. Stay tuned for this shit mentioned to them the signage yeah um so obviously that's something on their radar and they will look into that and obviously have to address that. happy to help you far more lucky bumping into me oh. and having this happen with me and i know you don't believe oh. it but you're far luckier that i am having this conversation with you and i think you know that for a fact that if somebody else was to come in here and have this conversation I'm willing to have a conversation with anybody. I mean, I, I, I don't... After you, after, you threaten after, you threaten I, I after you threaten him? After you threaten their freedom, Saj? Like, he he um, don't want to talk God. to me because he and knows exactly what I'm yeah, saying is true. I think we're all people He's a real asshole, a and he shouldn't have that badge. And, right and the now, authority. Your job is... He's not saying we're, we're a bad guy. We're clashed. He's calling them out. Right. No, he... Hey, you ever hear a good cop? Look at this bootlick guy. Another bootlick guy. I thought he was just a resident, but all these residents out here suck ass. And I'm sorry, this is what... Uh, William Chandler. Rude this is. Yeah, that's not the name that he gave me. Yeah, that's, that's, that's why they, that's that's why they call me Robbie Rude. Oh, so that's that the, so the New Hampshire Chiefs of Police Association. That's yeah, that's he has someone that does. You know, he has someone that um, I guess does uh, that does like some sort of trial work or something. So he he made a phone call. That does that name isn't the name he gave me. I'll give you the corporal's name here. He's uh, new, does not think, have. I think I already um, gave it to you guys. Okay. He did. Doesn't have his yeah. business cards yet, so. You should take that flag off your uh, shirt because it doesn't belong there. You're, you're non-American, right. my friend. Um, appreciate you don't believe in the rights. You, 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 right. you don't even. You don't believe in the rights. You don't believe in nothing. I don't have to. I just heard your face. Yeah. See that guy right there? He heard his face. That's a pretty neat trick. Remember, I'm rude, I'm this, I'm that, because I'm, I'm, I'm standing up for my rights here. So that flag on his jacket does not belong there. So I can explain to them what it is that we do. And the best ways to deal with it. Anyway, I thought the For example, if they say to somebody, I'm not going to bother you. Enjoy yourself. No, Any questions you have, let us know. Enjoy your time. That means you leave if someone who has bad motives, nothing. If someone says I'm going to help you, yeah, I'll take a Diet Coke. Why don't you get away from me for a while? Right? Something as simple as that. And then that's how the best. If they would like to sit down and have a conversation, I'd be happy to. I've spoken to the Secret Service. I did three uh, floors at the Tip O'Neill building in like Boston, yeah. paid by the U.S. Not, government to explain to people exactly what it is that we do, so you can make sure that you're best defended yeah. and that you're protecting people's think, rights at the same time. Look, I think okay. I'm not in this to make I will like the job. No, no, I'll let them know. And I know you don't think you think deep down. I don't know what I think. I don't know what I think. I'll go off the beginning of the video. So I'll pass it on to them. That's what I'll go off the beginning of the video. How you guys were all over there conjugating. You, him, the town manager, the, the select man. Hey, all of you guys were there, and you got bicking back and forth, laughing and shit, and it was a big joke because you guys got this town locked down. Well, guess what? The lock just got unopened. You know, these guys are both like it, both of them. This guy with the flag on the thing? They are. Right? I, don't, I believe it. They are. I mean, they, they, this guy's been hanging around since the beginning. He's a, he's a, he's a resident. Of the town, I can't wait to hear from the residents. The real residents that pay taxes and actually get get violated by these assholes all day in day in and day out. Well, we're gonna make you know? progress. Um, uh, Hatfield, uh, 
Uh, Upton Hatfield. Uh, Upton Hatfield, yeah. thank you. Upton Hatfield, you got to remember I that. They're in Concord. Thank you. That's, uh, oh, they represent, um, I've dealt with them before. They, yeah, they, they do a lot of municipalities. I, I, I think I've they're linked with. to. Uh, they, they, they settled out with. You guys should, you guys should watch house. YouTube more. All right, what do you no think? You and, and, and watch all the lawsuits and, and all the police officers that lost their qualified immunity because of the shit that he was going to pull on us. Seriously, I mean, I'm still stuck on that, right? That's the kind of guy I and am. Catch me on Dr. Phil. See the episode this upcoming month. Wait, really? Oh, yeah. Huh? Flown out to Texas to explain exactly. And it was interesting. Is he legit? No. Is he, is no, he's, a, he's, he he's, a, he's as license. bad as you. He lost his license. You and him six. fall in the it's, same it's category. But I had, it was myself and then two police officers from the Gainesville Police Department. Where we sat down and talked about exactly what it is that we do and exactly what we're trying to get from it. Uh, on, on both sides, like I'm, I'm, I'm the face of this place, right? Like I do this for the right reasons, and we'll, we'll one way or another, we're gonna get. Some well, I'll pass. I'll, I'll pass the information on about the conversation. Hopefully, yeah. our attorney, your attorney, talk, and mm -hmm. we'll get it expedited. But at least they're already talking, so hopefully things will. Keep an eye out for the episode. It's called uh, "Activists or Antagonists." Good mm -hmm. citizen on Dr. YouTube. Phil? And Dr. Phil, that's oh, what they yeah. called the episode. Oh, okay. He filmed me right after Trump. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, all right, All right we'll guys, you. you take care, be safe, have a good day. Have the day you don't deserve. <laughs> Asshole. All right, people, you see that? We're going to wrap this up. Yeah, them, yeah, cops are, them, them cops are absolute assholes. They're corrupt as the city is, as, as old as it is, man. Right? Since 17, these guys are all these guys all do the at, same look shit. Look at the sign. Yeah, be kind, give thanks. For what? Because they're taking song? your money. They shut down the town meeting. You know, they got all these people. That guy's getting, that guy's getting sued too. Yeah. He ain't the only dog running around in there. Hey, make sure you guys subscribe to MAA Audit. All right, we're going to end this right now. And uh, you've seen the corruption there, people. Let's hear your comments. Anybody from this town. Subscribe to my channel. Go into my channel. About my channel. My email's in there. Hit me with an email. Let me know your experiences with this town of Warner. Your tax-paying money going to corruption. Peace!